Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Some time ago, I was requested to show how I animate typing hands. It took me forever to actually do this quick tutorial. I'm sorry, but nevertheless, I thought, seriously, this is widely used element. So we're going to design and animate typing hands today. We start off designing an illustrator for rather complex elements like hands. I normally use a grid. It's under that menu where rectangle tool is. You can choose how many dividers you need and how big of a grid you want. Just make sure the squares are actually squares. They should be equal in height and width. It's important to enable some kind of snapping either to grid or to pixel. And then with a the pen tool, we create this weird geometric robotic hand. You could say, hey, Christina, when was the last time you looked at your hands? Fingers don't look this way. Relax. We're grabbing a direct selection tool and fix the length of the fingers and anything else we wish to fix. Pete, it's not that easy piece in real life, isn't it? With the same direct selection tool, I round some corners where I need. In After Effects, the first thing I do is convert my layers into a group of shapes. Right-click, create shapes from vector layer. And if we open the content of this shape layer, we see a bunch of groups. I actually forgot to put hands on different layers when I was prepping my file for animation. Shit happens all the time, you know? But we can actually group and regroup and rename the content right inside of our layer. Just need to spend some time figuring out what is what, but it doesn't take long. Finally, we should end up with something like this. Each hand consists of a hand itself, a bracelet and a sleeve. As you can see, I've pre-animated the background elements so we can just focus on the hands. Here everything is pretty self-explanatory, I guess, just keyframing some position, rotation and adjusting the graph a bit. This is the first movement they make, I mean the hands, they appear. And then I want them to move slightly, a bit to the left, a bit to the right, to mimic the way we move our hands across the keyboard when we type. To save time, we can copy the keyframes after we've done a few movements. So that was the second step. And the last one is the finger animation. Go into content, hand, and find a path in it. This is the parameter we're gonna mess around with. It should be selected, like in my case, it's a lighter shade of gray, as you can see. And using that arrow, selection tool that is, we select separate anchor points we wish to move around. The idea is to make the fingers either longer or shorter, imitating that they are typing. Here we should be careful to only select those anchor points that belong to the same one finger and we work one or maximum two fingers at a time, okay? Not the entire hand, I mean. When we're happy with how we repositioned the anchor points of all fingers, we go a few frames further in the timeline and start the process all over again until we've created enough movement. You can also copy paste some keyframes. They don't have to be all different, but there should be some variety anyway.
And finally, when all keyframes are set up, I work with the timing. For instance, here I realized that I need more still time between the movements. So it's all about moving around the keyframes and watching the sequence many, many times. Let's take a look at what we've done. Okay buddies, I hope this little tip was useful. If so, smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'll see you next time. Cheers!